Well, come on the race, kids. We're gonna praise our God together. So come on, why don't you join us and clap your hands with us? Come on. And we sing this together. Everything I need is in your presence. You're washing over every doubt. In every ancient thought I found Here and now your love has my attention It's something I can live without I want to know you inside out We sing With you nothing is impossible Everything I see is in you Everything I want and more Everything I need is in you It's found in you Cause you are all I'm seeking now And I know that nothing is too big for you Even now I'll still praise you I know that nothing is too hard for you With you all things are possible Come on, we say You're the God who takes down strife The God who moves the mountains The God who raises the to have you guys here we have an amazing service yeah, we lined do. up for you all it's going to be great so johnny what's coming up well we've got our praise and worship there's going to be everything incredible get Ooh. ready to move in that then we've got the word with israel coming up Ooh. how good will that be and then we've also got our very last round of our happy clappy game i wonder who's going to win i believe yeah. actually you might be playing Vic oh. this time which will be a goodie to watch so make sure you check that out real soon yeah it's gonna be good so let's check out the game nice well, here we are. Welcome back to the very last round, round number six of Happy Clappy. The last round will consist of two <laughs> racing players, Vic Latoa and Salah Dofalau. Now, what's what we're going to do? This is what we're going to do. Right oh. now on the leaderboard, it's going to come up. And it's going to show you that currently Vic is actually in the lead. Yeah. A big zero cream pies to her face. However, if Salah can make Vic laugh twice, Salah could take out the round, however, she cannot get any cream pies to her face oh, at all this okay. round to make it win. Let's start the game. Paper, scissors, rock, start, please. Ooh. Ooh. Feeling confident already? Yeah! <laughs> well, you should. Did you hear about the cold dinner? It was chilly. 
Yeah, it was kind of dry. Anyway. Okay, Vic. What's the best thing about Switzerland? I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. Mmm. 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 Big plus. A big plus. Not bad. I, I thought I got it. I don't know if you were choking there, what she was doing. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, mm, she was I got something it. Going on. <laughs> Mm. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Vic, take it away. Where does a sheep go to get a haircut? The bar bar <laughs> shop. Mm. She wants the victory. She's staying strong. <laughs> oh. mm. All right, Sala, no pressure, but if you want any chance of winning this game, <laughs> you must make Vic laugh on this one. Yeah. Where did... Sorry. <laughs> oh, I just ripped my paper. Okay. Um, what did... Sorry. What did baby call... Oh. <laughs> she didn't even get a joke! Can you even just read it up my head? <laughs> that is a big cream pie to the face oh right God. there. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Her what day was so wet, she can't read the next joke! <laughs> Please stand Look to the stage! <laughs> <laughs> See, that's how much water was in my mouth! Did you plan that? <laughs> no! <laughs> Three, two, the mic. one! Oh, <laughs> wow, alright. The score is currently... One to Vic, zero to Salah. Vic, take it away. Why? Sorry. <laughs> oh yeah. Why do bananas wear sunscreen? Because they peel! <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> oh. Hey, there's no need to stare me down, alright? Yeah. I'm the referee, alright? You can say your joke now. <laughs> okay, cool. What did baby corn say to mama corn? I mean, sorry. <laughs> Vic has officially gonna get cream pie for laughing and spin it on the table, it's disgusting. <laughs> However, that means that Vic is now on two. Salah's only on one, Tanaka's on one. I reckon Salah should <laughs> also get penalized <laughs> and then Tanaka. He did it twice! <laughs> <laughs> that works. <laughs> Kobe, my Timo, is that a fair decision? Because there was no joke actually spoken over two rounds. <laughs> Yeah. yeah! We've got an official word from the TMO. Vic will receive a cream pie. However, for failing to tell a joke over Twice. two rounds, Twice. Salah will also receive a cream pie, which yeah. means they will both end. On two points. On two points. <laughs> which means that we will have an official winner which we will announce after they get cream pie. Yeah. So please, you both may take a cream pie up there and you both might smudge each other's faces at the same time. Three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> take it off her face, you can't see. Now, what has just happened is history, people. The two people who could have won it have both lost it. Which means the only other person who could possibly win the entire Game <laughs> over six rounds is the one person who didn't play the last round was actually Tanaka. Oh. Oh. Finishing on one point. Well done, Tanaka. However, what the contestants did not know was that they actually signed up to more than just a game of Hello Clappy. You see, whoever won the contest gets to decide who will be slimed oh. as their victory prize. Tanaka. Come up here, please. <laughs> I think Tanaka, I'm as the victor, <laughs> wearing the crown. Actually, we've got a medal for you somewhere, but now I've lost it, so I don't know where it is. So we won't give it to you right now. You get to choose which one of the contestants, <laughs> maybe not the allergic one, gets to get slimed today. Oh, Who do you yeah. choose out of Nikki, Vic, Salah, Tim, or Israel? Yeah. Yeah. I'm so 
<laughs> that is the game. That is the round. Israel will be getting slimed. Thank you for watching. Enjoy this moment as much as we will. And we'll see you next time on Happy Clappy. See you then. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the finale of Happy Clappy, where we will be sliming Israel. Now, Tanaka has given the great privilege of sliming uh, Israel to the one, the only Salah. So, Salah, on the count of three, we'll be doing the pleasure. But first, before we do that, we must see how Israel's feeling. Israel, how are you feeling right now? Uh, not happy and not clappy. <laughs> Fair enough. That's what happens when you lose the game, though. So, you actually were the one who lost as well with the most cream parts of the face. So, here we go. On the count of three. One, two, three. Slime! Ah! It's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it from us today. We'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>
Kia ora tamariki. Welcome back to week six of our Out of Our Mouth series. In fact, this is our last one. So we're going to go straight into the Word. And if you haven't already, grab yourselves your notebook and your Bibles and let's get into it. And I want to start us off today with a question. Have you ever been in a situation where someone's words of encouragement gave you the, the strength to succeed in something? You know, you just needed that word of encouragement to go further along. And if you watched week three of our series, you would have seen Nikki share some words of encouragement to myself, trying to get up to the top of the stairs. You see, I was all huffed out and puffed out. I had no energy left, but I had to reach the top. But Nikki's words of encouragement strengthened me to keep going. So today, we're gonna learn how it's so important to not just be equipped with other people's words, but to be equipped with God's word first. Which leads me to the title for today's message, God's word in my mouth. God's word in my mouth. Let's check out a time in the Bible where we see someone being equipped with God's word. Everyone with your Bibles, I want you to turn to Judges 6 and Judges 7. It's a pretty long story, so we're just going to go through the key points. And it's based on the story of a guy named Gideon. Now, Gideon was chosen by God to lead the Israelites, God's people, to fight against their enemies, the Midianites. And at first, Gideon felt a bit unsure. He was always doubting himself and doubting God. But God spoke to him and always reassured him of his presence and his power. In chapter 7 verse 9 it says, Get up, go down into the Midianite camp, for I've given you victory over them. But if you are afraid to attack, go down to the camp with your servant Pura, listen to what the Midianites are saying, and you will be greatly encouraged. Then you will be eager to attack. And I just want to point that last line. Listen to what the Midianites are saying and you will be greatly encouraged. So, what do you think Gideon did? Well, he went down to the camp. He was feeling very afraid. So he needed some encouragement. So as he went down there with the servant Pura, he overheard two random people talking about their dreams. To which one of them answered, Surely this can be nothing other than the sword of Gideon son of Joash, the Israelite. God has given the Midianites and the whole camp into his hands. God's word through these two people greatly encouraged Gideon. So he ran back to his camp with Pura and he gathered the whole Israelite army and he said, let's go and defeat the enemies. God gave them a special plan to follow, which involved a lot of trumpets, and some torches to confuse the enemy. And well, Gideon and his army of only 300 people defeated 135,000 Midianites and won the victory. Not only did he do that because of God's power, but because of God's word of encouragement. Imagine if Gideon wasn't encouraged. Do you think he would have gone ahead to defeat the Midianite camp? I'm not sure. I know that if I wasn't encouraged by Nikki's words, I wouldn't have reached the top of the stairs. Because remember, I was all huffed, out, huffed and puffed out. But what I do know is that everything in God's word is an encouragement to us all. When you feel alone, in Deuteronomy 31 verse 8, God says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. When you feel scared and anxious, in 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, God says, I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of self-control or discipline. That's another way we've been learning. When you feel exhausted, overwhelmed by everything going around you, in 1 Peter 5 verse 7, it says, give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares for you. How encouraging is it to know that there's a God 
who cares for you. A word of encouragement can be all the difference in us succeeding in something. However, not every person will say the same thing. Not everyone's going to be encouraging. But we know God's word, it never changes. It always stays the same. In Isaiah 40 verse 8, I know it's a lot of verses, but just bear with me. In Isaiah 40 verse 8, it says, The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of God endures forever. This means it stays the same forever. So, let's not just be equipped by people's words, but be equipped with God's word first. So Father, right now I pray for every person who's watching, every child with their parent or caregiver. I pray as they read your word, Lord God, whenever they read the Bible, may you speak to them and encourage them, Lord God, Father. Help them understand your word. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. Now for some of us who are watching, you may not know about this God that I talk about, this God that greatly cares for you. God loves you so much that he was willing to die on the cross to pay the price for our sins. So no longer would there be a barrier between him and us. We can now enter into an open relationship with God. And if you want that today, we're going to say a short prayer. But if I know that's you who wants to receive Jesus, I want you to wave me, give me a wave right now. Awesome, I see those hands, I see those hands. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, I'm going to say one line of this prayer and you're going to repeat after me. And for those of us who, who waved our hands, I want you to really believe in your hearts the words that we speak. You ready? Okay. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for loving me. Thank you for giving me life. I'm sorry for the things I have done wrong. Please remove the sin that blocks me from you. I believe in you. Be my Lord and my Saviour. Be my best friend now and forever. Amen, amen, amen. Huge shout out to everybody who's made that decision to follow Jesus today. We're going to have some next steps coming up, but Remember, this is the one thing I want us all to go away with today. Let's be encouraged with God's Word. But to do that, we've got to be equipped with it. So make sure you keep reading your Bibles and we'll see you next week. Bye! Well, what an amazing message we just had from Israel. Thank yes. you, man. That was incredible. And if you just made a decision to follow Jesus, then today we've got three easy steps, like Israel said, to help you in your amazing journey of following Jesus. So, what's number one? Number one is to tell someone. Yes, it Tell is. your parents, tell your life group leader, mm -hmm. tell your friend, tell your siblings. Who else is it? <laughs> You're right about to tell. I mean, it's pretty Just tell everyone. Tell. Just but tell yeah. someone. But tell everyone so that you can not do this journey alone. Amazing. Yeah. So good. Number two is this. We'd love for you to read your Bible. You can get a paper version Bible, like the Action Bible or a different one like that. Or with your parents' help, you can download the Version Bible app onto your phone, tablet, or some of the resource that you have will be absolutely amazing. Yes. And number three is to pray. And that's to pray to the Lord. I yeah. keep doing this. I don't know why. <laughs> but you know what? Pray like to it. the Lord. Because God wants to hear from you. Yeah. And make sure when you do it, you do this too. That'd be really good. But yeah. that's all we've got time for today. But hey, this was the last week in our Out of My Mouth series. And we'd love to hear from you if you enjoyed the series. And if you want to do that, all you need to do is email us at kids.arisechurch.com. We'd love to hear from you and we'll email you back as Ooh, soon as we nice, can. Nice. But until then, we'll see you for our next series. See you later.